With each new generation of AI models, we expect a quantum leap. And with GPT-5 dropping soon, the internet is absolutely losing its mind with hype and rumors. But here's what's different. Sam Altman himself has been spilling the beans on OpenAI's own podcast. Now, the first thing everyone wants to know is when can we actually get our hands on this thing? And here's what Sam Altman keeps saying. What is the time frame for GPT-5? When are we going to see this? Probably sometime this summer. Right. Um, I don't know exactly when. But here's where it gets exciting. Altman is promising that the leap from GPT-4 to GPT-5 will be as significant as the jump from GPT-3 to GPT-4 was. And if you remember that transition, that wasn't just an incremental improvement. That was a completely new generation of intelligence. So what does that actually mean in practice? Well, I've been analyzing what Altman's been saying, and there are some massive changes coming. First up, they're building a unified model. Altman himself admits the current lineup is a whole mess and GPT-5 is designed to fix that completely. It's going to be one seamless system that understands text, images, and audio natively. It'll know what tool to use and when to use it. Second, and this is where I think things get really interesting, is enhanced reasoning. Current models can reason a little bit, but GPT-5 is being built to know when to think for a long time. What this means is deeper, multi-step problem solving that should lead to better accuracy. But here's where I think we're entering revolutionary territory. OpenAI's president Greg Brockman and Sam Altman both are calling 2025 the year of agents, and GPT-5 will be a step towards that direction. Now, this changes things and probably how we use it. Instead of just asking it for suggestions, you'll give it a goal, and it will execute the entire task from start to finish. To make these agents truly useful though, GPT-5 needs a better brain. It's expected to have a significantly larger context window, over a million tokens, and persistent, built-in memory. Imagine having an assistant who remembers every single conversation, every project, every preference you've ever mentioned. That's the level of personalization we're talking about here. Now the big question everyone's asking is, does this mean we've reached AGI? And Sam Altman is very clear about this. He consistently calls GPT-5 a stepping stone on the path to artificial general intelligence. True AGI, in his view, is a system that can autonomously discover new science, and he doesn't think we're there yet. What's fascinating is how they're building all of this. It's through Project Stargate, a plan to build compute power at a scale that, in Altman's words, has never been done before. The goal is to make this incredible intelligence as abundant and cheap as possible. So let me break down what I think is the official blueprint here. GPT-5 is coming this summer, and it represents a massive leap forward. We're talking about a unified, super-intelligent model that can reason better, remember everything, and most importantly, act as an autonomous agent to complete real-world tasks. But here's what I think might be the biggest shift. It's not just about more intelligence. It'll be improving the way we prompt and talk with AI. Right now, the AI is a brilliant but passive intern who does exactly what you say, but no more. With GPT-5, you won't need to give step-by-step -step instructions. You provide a clear, high-level goal, the desired outcome, and it figures out all the steps needed to get there. It also thinks whether the instructions you gave are correct and suggests the best approach to follow. But at this point, everything is just speculation, so we'll have to wait for any official news. Here's what's not speculation, though. This stuff is moving fast, and the people who adapt first are going to have a massive advantage. If you want to master the skills to stay ahead in this AI future, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.